right, so we're gonna check out all the cars here in a little bit, but first we're gonna do the swap meet. They always have a little swap meet here. It's never very big, but it usually has some pretty good stuff. So uh, we'll film going through this, see if we find anything interesting to buy. Last year, I think we bought some plates from some folks. I think this guy usually has decent stuff at decent prizes. So he's got $5. Who's Tex Bragan? Oh, decals five bucks each. Hey, uh, red. That's cool. I've not seen that. No, that's fine with me. Maybe it's repainted. I don't know. I think it's re replacement plate. Like a 68, be. how it has the yellow. Oh, he's got prices on the back. Prices on the back. I don't know if he's got any more of the five dollar plates like he had before. Get tired of the kids. Let's get tired of administration. Yeah, these are nice ones. Oh yeah, he always has the five dollar plates. Or five for twenty. So ran more American four forty. Is it American Motors? No. What was? It was. Yeah. They have on that front. Five dollars. Yeah, or five for twenty. Are you kidding? Look at this. That's cool. I'm gonna get the, all these black plates. Uh -huh, I'm getting some. Uh -huh. When it was the anniversary. I get the black part. You can look at wholesale people. Oh, it's triple six, sir. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna get a bunch of these plates. Can you just hold the ones? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm not sure. I like that 442. Any red lines or anything? Um, probably some. Probably. He's got some price on some of them. Man, I used to have one of those, but it's not in that shape anymore. $3, I guess. Yeah. This one. Oh, we got a couple of those, yeah. $3. Three. That one's not yeah, too bad, I guess. I had the. I like that one. That one. I had that one. I still got it somewhere. The, no, the Thunderbird with all the gold on it. Oh, I have it. Now. Yeah, you've got an Elka, yeah. Hey, one day for me, too, man, but until then. Cool Alvin. I wonder if that's Alvin for the town. Oops, sorry. Might have missed a row. We'll come back to that here in a minute. Well, more people selling plates here than normal, even. Normally, it's just the one guy down there. He said it's a little bit different fare, but usually pretty good stuff. Of course, there's a lot of kids coming out around us to get a lot of them toy vendors, too. Hey, back to the car. Get the big boy here. This is supposed to be Charlie's spot because I think he had the big boys. Yeah. Yeah. He looks like he's still setting up. All right, so we were talking to our buddy Charlie. He he does all the swap meets and flea markets and everything. And this is a, a lot of stuff he's got. He's got a little bit of everything, toys and license plates and uh, just whatever he can get his hands on, he kind of get it all. So I just had a conversation with him about maybe getting him supplied up with some license plates so he can have me. He goes, I want to step on your toes. I'm like, ah, you, you go to different meets me the only ones we go to the same are conroe and he only goes to the february and i only go to the uh i only go to the fall so he doesn't really like me some car bodies yeah. 
Park 1, Conroe Park 2. He's got a little Park 1, Conroe Park 2. Oh, I was just filming your play stuff, so yeah. I'm going to put this in there if you don't mind. No, no, you just I'm, chatting I'm, with you and everything. I'm fine. You know I'm good with that. I make sure. Whatever y'all do, it's all good. Okay. With me. Yeah. This, this is family here, so okay. it's all good. Sounds good. Well, if you want to check it out, yeah. But if not, we'll have this in there. So if you want to check out at least okay. the one for Auto Rama. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. good. That's but, good. Uh, but yeah. That's good. All right. Well, I'm going to keep going and make some more of this video because it's easier to do it before thousands it's of people get here and then you're yeah. like filming yeah. people's back of their heads. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, bless y'all. Thank you. Oh, this is the guy I was talking about. He usually has good, cool Houston stuff. Yeah, this guy's really cool. So we're going to look through here. He's always got really neat stuff. And his prices are always real fair. Yeah, that's a good vendor here. He's always here every year. Let's see. A lot of the stuff is the old vintage Houston things, which I like. Sometimes, sometimes I'll pick that stuff up too. A little hearing aid or, huh? Might be interested in these. Keegan, she's got some old models over here. Hey. Tom Mongoose and Cobra. It's a military plate. What do you have on the military plate? I might get that. I don't think I have one that looks like this. They got the little bit newer. They made them with black, so they look more European. And I think those are like early 2000s, late 90s. This is probably 80s or early 90s. So I might get that from you. Excuse me. That's oh, yeah. What's that? Those are some water transfer decals. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I'm asking three a piece on those. So they're water transfer decals. Um, These are probably from the 50s. Be fine. My son might want one. Of I'm probably going to get one for me. My son might want one because he likes old racing stuff and this would look like something on an old race car. So yeah, and it's just the they're old. old graphic, they're know? from the 50s. They're, uh, and it's in a place that was in Houston that does motor reconditioning and everything. So. Much stuff you got to look so carefully because you forget you miss so much. Oh, yes. King of the Road oil treatment. It's kind of cool. Oh my god, remember those old spuds. What do you have on these stickers? Like the King of the Road and Champion and everything. I got two bucks a piece. Two bucks each, okay. Yeah. And the Spuds McKenzie. Yeah. <laughs> I was probably, hit, it may be his age, maybe younger. I do remember him. Yeah. A lot of cool patches. a contractor that builds telephone infrastructure. Oh, oh cool. So like you know, they go into a town and they put up all the, and that's like from the early 1900s I believe. Wow. And so those are contractor. Oh yeah they're those old. Those are employee badges. So that is cool. So yeah you'd be hired and you'd be given a number. Wow that is cool. He's got a few models. This guy has some old joke. He probably has some stuff you can't find. Um, but yeah he's got a few of them. That old of a promo, you need to stay away from just forget about it. Yeah, you see it at 75 Dotson and one over there for 20. Uh, these are mid 60s. This company went out of business in the early 80s. Oh, Johan, yeah. Yeah, that one's really rare one. Yeah, because I remember That's when cool. I was. Yeah, he's got a lot of them. This is old, new. Yeah, he's got some older ones. Oh. There's a 70s one in there. I swear we've got this. We've got a 55 through 7. We got a 55 through 7 box that looked, I mean, it looks like that, but it's 55 through 7s, yeah. And then we had an Impala one that was like 63, 45, yeah. Oh, this, yeah. It's got, it sells all the partial models. Completely restored. Yeah. It's got all the 
Did, is this guy you bought like a big bin of parts or no oh it was a it was different guy the guy that i bought oh it was the guy you bought that from yeah this must be that guy then NASCAR bodies. yeah those are old he's got prices on them yeah yeah i know they usually always have a lot of toys it looks like it might actually be more toys this year than usual usually it is a little bit more swap meat type stuff but it doesn't surprise me there's more toys because i mean it's probably what sells the most out here yeah so i'll run my it's like this it's been going on for like 60 something years um used to be at the astrodome complex now it's over here at the uh george r brown convention center kind of downtown houston and um it opens at 10 it closes like a nine it's pretty long we usually one of the first ones here one of the last ones to leave but um you know it's traveling show so it goes to every city but this here in houston it's always the weekend of thanksgiving it runs thanksgiving to the sunday after thanksgiving and um it's always a good show you can see it fills up the whole first floor um we'll go check out the cars here in a minute and um so the swap meet part i don't know how it is now she's only been to houston i don't know it's probably pretty similar i would assume other places but um one here like i said they got the little swap meet part and the cars and used to do a car auction and then it kind of fizzled out i don't even know they sometimes they just have cars for sale i'm not sure if they have the auction anymore or not I like these old radios oh that one's a newer one it's got the set Breaker 1-9. Oh, that is cool. I've never seen that game before. Yeah, back in the... When they first came, Georgia Brown, about 10, maybe 15 years ago. Yeah, probably 15 years ago. It was... The auction was big. It was cool. Uh, we'd come one day to look at the swap meet and the cars, and then we'd come another day just to watch the auction all day. It was really good, but... Um, he said just got fizzled out over time and got smaller and smaller and uh, finally i think they stopped doing it a few years ago so i don't want to i've heard reasons why it fizzled out and why people stopped bringing their cars to sell out i don't want to say it's speculation but um um yeah one time it was pretty big this guy's got some plates here seems reasonable in his prices we had a couple of these we bought a car from make them a couple years ago and uh i think we sold ours for a dollar each but um yeah we did a lot of cool car stuff we didn't film i wish we had started youtube earlier it's like more uh toy cars back here and bronco's cool i would love to get a real bronco this style it's cool these are cool we see we sold a bunch of our Louisiana plates from Conroe to a guy that was making them into these. So. Some cars over here. It's like the car shows kind of crept into where the swap meet normally. I think this would be swap meet stuff. But I think the swap meet is a little smaller than it usually is. Normally, yeah. Normally the swap meets from this whole section back, but you know, every year it's a little different. All right, back to it. Take a little break. This guy was at Conroe. We used to buy a lot of stuff from when the boys were little. He said he's uh he's got too many people out there to know him, so I won't I won't feature you. <laughs> well, it just costs extra money if you put Just costs extra money. Yeah. All right, so I'll 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 save up the money. When I'm making YouTube money, I'll put you in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put Works you in there. Me. Get you a cut. <laughs> All right, give you an appearance fee. I'll even yeah, I'll even give you the discount rate. There you go. All right, thanks. Talk to you later. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Cool little storage things here. Probably made out of old fencing. Those are nice. Those are nice little uh, shelves for Hot Wheels and things. More model kits. Yeah, it's turned into like a model kit. It's almost like a toy show yeah, more than anything now. Model kit. Which one? Oh my God! Wow. Blazer monster truck. Wow. Yeah. I'd buy it if it was a normal Blazer, vintage Blazer kit, but I don't need one. It looks like a monster truck. That looks like the Scout we saw. It. Dad, you could buy it and just put the body on a regular frame. You could, but you don't need all that other stuff. And they got a lot. Man, the vintage models are more than I've ever seen before. There used to be people that would sell vintage car ads and things, but I don't know if they're here because normally they're up front where it's cars now. I think the layout's changed. 
They definitely changed it out because part of what used to be swap meets car, cars for the car show now. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely way more toys this year than it had been in the past. And everyone's got kids at home. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's become a little bit more of a toy show, but there's still some good stuff here. There's good toys. Maybe the old dune buggy is cool. The, someone that, you know the service center thing, the fold out? Oh, Playmobil train. Hot wheel thing we had. Uh-huh. Someone had the original box. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I saw pointing out the Playmobil train. That's, a, that's newer a than... A lot newer than yours. Yes. Well, the one I've got is probably mid-80s, so... Yeah, the first started coming here more, it was more like this, it was just normal car parts, but you know, I'm sure as word gets out, toy vendors and stuff, probably find out there's a lot of money being had here. I was just telling people that this, the Swami used to be mostly car stuff. So you said he got, where did that guy have the QA50? I missed it. He's right next to this guy. We'll just walk over there real fast and look at it, yeah. Dad, I'll be right back. I'm gonna just look at this QA50. Apparently I'm the only one that didn't see it. Where was he at? He's right past this guy. He's got a, he had a bunch of old pro stock one eight ago. Okay. Oh, over here. Yeah, they said 200. Oh, he's, this is it. Oh yeah, QA50. Said he would take 200. It's a lot more complete, that's why. It's more complete, yeah. This we paid 150 for the one at Conroe, but uh, this one's more complete. Like cracking? Well, that's cheap, yeah. but this is a lot better. I mean, 200's bike. not bad. 200's good for this, it's all complete. I mean, it's missing a side Is cover. it crank? And it's missing, I think that's a good start. Has compression, but it, so it cranks over. Yeah, it yeah. turns over. What is that? It's missing the foot crank. Is that the? Shifter. Oh, it's a the shifter. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't know. even see this. I just walked right by it. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, this I'll think about. It. I got the money. I, I may think this about it. This one's a lot better. Bye. Now, where are you going to find it? If it, well, I mean, like with the Trail 70s, have multiples. Wouldn't be nice to have multiples for you don't want I won't get it if it's gonna offend you to get it. No, I like I like it. I just wanna know you said that you don't like them. Yeah, but if you have one, wouldn't it be helpful to have a couple for parts? One for parts at least? Yeah. I'm just saying I'm thinking about it. I'm not gonna start on that one. It's the frame is a free agent. It's got a red line chain ring. Albums. That's cool stuff. This guy looks like he's got some cool stuff through here. This vintage stuff, signs. You know what I know. You think I get that car in my trunk? The what? Car? I mean, a car, the motorcycle in my trunk. Yeah. This is cool. Yes, sir. Oh my god, that does look just like it. Look at this with the old 68. Nice, that's cool. Look at the little be a pepper, that sign. It's cool. 110. Really neat stuff. Price is a little bit above my, uh, what I uh, <laughs> can afford, I guess you could say. But very cool stuff here. Patch is cool. It's a big patch. These are neat. I think I've got some of these. I collect Texaco stuff. Or I used to. I don't buy it every now and then, but I used to pick up a lot more of it. Yeah, the little map holders. I think I've got some of those. I don't know if they're just like these, but I do have some of those. The little matchbooks are cool. I got a bunch of these. One of my friends, his, oh, does he? Yeah, back there. Oh, okay, well, we'll go look at him in a minute. One of my friends has a lake house they rent and they put old matchbooks like this in a table with acrylic. I thought it was cool. So I started buying these up to use. Uh, I haven't made my table yet, but I've got a bunch of them. But 
I try to get them old 40s, 50s like these. So, yeah, it's cool. Oh my goodness. Texaco Chemical Company, Port Natchez. That old you, Dairy Queen sign. That if you get that Z50, you can have the. If you want it as part of your Christmas, I can get it. Yes. You do? Yeah. Okay. Did you see the old Let's go back over there then. Okay, so. He said if I buy it for him, he would have it as part of his Christmas. So. Yeah, I can go well, back and get it. You, that's what he got These from us cool. for Christmas, too. Well, but then fine. we would have the seat, we'd have the wheel, all the things we yeah. need. I think it's got enough parts on it, it's exactly. worth it. Actually, These are cool. I love this. Well, then let's go it's get the whole set. Somebody buys it. All right, so I think we're going to go back and get that. We'll come back over here and do okay. look at the rest of this booth. Does it have. No, I don't Yeah, that's quite a bit you could use, right? I mean, I guess you could use the wheels and the rim. Your rim had rust holes in it. I could use the rim one. And the seat. I think it's an original seat. Yeah. I'm sure there's other little things you could use. Okay. Yeah, the, sure. What about the exhaust? Yeah. Yours doesn't have an exhaust. We've, it's got well, the they made one. Yeah. Do you have a front fender? This one's busted. Well, you will when you start slinging mud in your face. Well, uh, that's why I'm going to ride with a helmet and goggles. But yeah, I mean, if, where's the guy that had it? Right here. Oh. You said that it would be enough. Okay. They're saying you'd take two for it. He's got one that's running, but it's missing. Other than the fact it runs, it's missing a lot of stuff. This one has a few things it could use. The wheel is the, the thing. The wheel, the seat, I think are the two big things. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff. I don't know. Yours was missing all this, and this looked like they're in good shape. So. I think there's a lot of stuff you can use. What year is yours? Are they 74. This but this got the same tank, so it might be a 74 like his. But yeah, it's a 74 because it's got the original orange tank. All right, so you want it? Okay. Christmas. Well, Merry Christmas, sir. Now you got two of these for Christmas, one from Conroe and one from here. Okay. Well, let me pay the guy. All right, Keegan, so we got you a second QA50, so now you got two to make one good one. Yeah. And uh, we're going to keep... Looking at the rest of the spot. Yeah, that's cool. I didn't expect to get a motorcycle. Motorcycle parts. That big more kit for QA50. Big more kit for QA50. Uh huh. I don't know. It's just kind of stuck here. Hey, Hope caps. Hey, Dad. Yes, sir. You know why we got rid of. Uh, gas tanks built in the frames. Why is that? Because they would rust and then you can't use the frame. Oh, makes sense. So I'm gonna go down this row over here. <laughs> what? Give me back 350. Mini bike, That's 350. Yeah, those little Coleman ones, they sell like a tractor supply and stuff. Yeah. They're like six, five, six hundred bucks new. Well, they're, they, you were, they're more okay, now. I'd like to be <laughs> yeah. nice. That's a cool old Hot Wheel case. Yeah. Grandma got one like that at a Swami one time for like she goes, how much? And the guy goes, five bucks. And he's like, oh, okay. That's <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> Wait, what are the K5? Oh, they got the Suburbans here. Bunch of them. Yeah, Mom, just see, they got the 64 to 6 Suburbans here. Ah. Different colors, orange, red, gray, and gold. Do you like the square bodies? That's cool. I've never seen this one, Family Coach. Yeah. I've not seen those. I haven't seen Family Coach. Looks like it'd be on the... Be what they used on the vans. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because it looks like the truck series. Yeah. Uh, truck, definitely yeah, looks mid-70s. 73 and newer is when I started using yellow. This was Suburban. 72 and older is yeah. usually blue. Yeah, that's suburban cool. Yeah, we got those because we had a Suburban like that. Oh, uh, okay. We don't have any more. Now we can sell the imports. <laughs> Hey, if someone's looking for these, I, I don't think they reproduce these. That, that's no, quite a fine that's there. A cool. I used to have a lot of these little Cadillac trim pieces. We go to a local junkyard to get them for, I think, a dollar each. I try to sell them for three dollars each. In the late '80s, early '90s hubcaps. I haven't seen those on trucks in a while, but yeah, that's from like a couple years late '80s, early '90s. It said '80. 1980? That's what it said. That I don't know about that old Mustang thing. Chip, what do you think? That's cool looking. 
Nice. Like Did you see the bicycle yeah, uh, part? Her name's Jessica. Oh, I know her. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, I'm talking about the wife. Oh, no. Patchy parts. It's for always this way. I like the Oh yeah, Little tiny bike here. Let's see what they got back here, if anything. Yeah, a couple things. Vandura. Body. Beginning of a car hauler here, big old GMC. Is that like a Viking or something? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, you got some six seven seven parts too. This is normally where we have the little like scooter people at. Well, yeah, it's a big old Ford. It's got a baby blue. I don't think I got this color. Uh see any good oh why they always take it off. What you have on the glove box store? 20 bucks. 20 bucks? Okay. I don't think I got any of that color. Oh man, for 20, I would definitely get it if it had the bow on the back. It's Model A frames, I think. Caps, five bucks each. Price seem reasonable. Panels are decent for. I don't have any blue trucks, so. Hmm. How much are the blue door panels? Uh, 25 for the pair. I don't need blue ones, but someday I might. I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. How much you have on the 72s? Same thing. 25. 25. Okay. How long are you going to be out here today? Until they close. Okay. I might go back. I just want to carry stuff around. But uh, I might come back. I know I got some 72s, but I don't know if I got the trim on one of them. I think one of them's missing some of that trim. Oh, you can put it up there. You can buy it. Oh, okay. Hey, look at these real fast. What is that? What's what? They're just 72 panel trim. There's just 72 door panels. They're like, uh, they had like three different trim loads. They'd, the, it's like the medium one because the one would have wood grain if it was like Cheyenne, I think. Super Cheyenne. Super Cheyenne, yeah. Well, let me think about it. It's not anything I need, but it's something I like to keep in stock. He said the guy over here had a Cheyenne Super Glow Box, but I don't see it. So he might have sold it, you never know. He said it was real clean. I'm sure he wants a couple hundred bucks for it, but. I was just gonna look at it, see. Oh well, that's all right. I'm sure it's more than I'm gonna pay. So that's pretty much it for the swap meet yeah. portion. So now we'll go check out the cars and see what they got over there, huh? Yeah, sure. All right. So that's, that's yeah. Let's go over there.